I watched the J.D. Vance Joe Rogan interview that dropped yesterday. So here we go. Now, like the Trump interview, it was a good three hours long. So I would watch this if you have time, if you're like driving on the road or something. So, you know, it's a good time. Coming. And a lot like the Trump interview, it's not really for people who already support uh, Trump and J.D. Vance. It's really for the people who are still undecided and don't know much about J.D. Vance himself. I mean, me personally, I got I got a good feel about um, how J.D. Vance is as a person watching him debate Tim Wall. But I decided to give this uh, interview a watch and to kind of get to know him a little bit more. Now, in the beginning, he talks a little about his, himself and his family life and how he grew up and things like that. You know, you, you pretty much hear that for like maybe the first 20, 30 minutes of the interview. And then you hear about how uh, J.D.'s reaction was when he first heard about Donald Trump damn near getting unalive. The first thing he wanted to do, he went and got his children and made sure they were good. He made sure his wife was good and everything because after hearing your running mate get shot, he did at least he wouldn't have known if if he was next or not. So he didn't want to take any like uh, you know, he wanted to make sure his family was good. You know, him and Joe got to talking about you know abortion and LGBTQ things, things that a lot of like undecided voters are probably thinking about. That are probably that probably usually would lean more left, but are thinking about leaning more right. And I know why Joe asked him those questions simply because, like, yet yeah, a lot of Americans for quite some time have not trusted the right. And JD, being the stand-up dude that he is, he fully recognizes that and said, like, he wants to earn, he wants the he wants the American people to you know start trusting the right again and you know have the right. Um, earn America's trust right now because for a long time they've had a bad taste in a lot of America's mouth. In addition to, you know, the mainstream liberal media just constantly pushing anything negative they can think of about the right to the majority of American people. And Joe did ask uh, JD about the uh, windmills and how it affects, the, you know, the whales and things like that, just like he did with Trump. And yeah, he, they pretty much uh, agreed on a lot of those things too, of how the windmills aren't really doing a great job with like you know, making energy, and it's really just an eyesore. Then later on in the interview, they got uh, to the subject of abortion. And both um, J.D. and Joe agreed when Joe asked them about, like, some people potentially being arrested and prosecuted because, you know, um, that procedure may not be, you know, legal in that one state, but it is in another. But some states may, you know, prosecute people who go to different states to get that procedure done. And J.D. agrees that, you know, it's not a good idea to prosecute people from going from state to state to have something, you know, have a procedure done. That's ridiculous. And that's a big overcorrection of what's going on. But overall, I do recommend that you watch this interview if you want to get to know J.D. Vance a little bit more. I mean, if you don't have time to watch all three, just watch bits and pieces of it, like maybe one day or another, however you want to do it. Because if you've watched the interview already, you know, most of the time, you know, J.D. and Joe, they they pretty much sat there the most time. You're like smiling and having a good time and just, you know, having a simple conversation of what, you know, they plan on doing if he him and Trump get in office, you know, in a couple of days. But yeah, for those of you who watched the interview already, like I did, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Did you enjoy the interview? Did you think it was too drawn out, too long? Do you think you kind of got the gist of it if you... Um, don't know much about J.D. Vance and watch the interview. How do you feel about him now? I'd like to know in the comment section. Let's talk about it.